like what the tourist expects when he comes to Malta. First of all, we have to see how we advertise Malta. When we advertise Malta, we always put the lovely blue sea. So, and it's correct because we have um, a coast of about 197 kilometers surrounded by the sea. So, when a tourist comes to Malta, this is what he expects. He expects to be able to sit down, uh, watch the sea. He expects to have a nice snack, have a coffee, eat something, and watch the sea. And this is clear from an island surrounded by the sea. But, in reality, in Malta, most bars are unfortunately on the other side of the road. It doesn't matter where we go. Burza Buja, Bujibba, uh, Marsa Scala. Mostly, it's always the same. You cross the road, and the bar is on the other side of the road. This means that actually, this is what the guest is seeing here. Just a small sample. You know, the guest is sitting. There are two cars on both sides of the road. Cars are passing, and the guest is somehow between seeing some some form of seaside. And believe us, we filmed this on a quiet afternoon. So imagine if we would film and a nice evening or a Sunday, you would he see nothing. The, 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 the tours and even us small teas, we are actually sitting uh, inhaling diesel and smoke from the passing cars. Um, there are one or two catering establishments which have what one expects. Here we bring an example of one bar in which is and the table, um, how it was set up for us, where one is actually looking at the sea. This is, to be honest, what I and a tourist who comes from other countries expects to see. Uh, but as we said, the same story goes everywhere we go. You can take Marsa Scala all the way up to St. Thomas Bay. Uh, there's an exception. There's the surf side in Slima. There's one or two uh, kiosks in Bojibba. And unless we're missing something, there are hardly any more. I think, I think you will not find more than 10, 15 places, except the big hotels, of course, which have the, the pool bars. But we're talking about normal places where one can go and sit down. Um, then, for example, like there was one place in Marsaskara, the Faitata kiosk, which in a way fits this uh, description. One could sit there. And for some reason, which we can't understand, the Mepa closed it down. This is such a pity. It was really one of the only places, let's say, if you take Marsa Scala, going all the way to St. Thomas Bay, where you could literally sit. It was only a small place. And enjoy a nice, decent drink without cars passing by. And we can take the story, like you said, practically to every seaside resort we have, with the exception we have Marsa Schlock some restaurants in the evening which are near the uh, near the sea and like we said one or two places in Bujibban. and to close with a small look at what the competition means by bar next to the sea these are some examples of people who are sitting exactly near the beach um, there's a sandy beach of 50 meters in front of them again some other examples and we need to understand we are competing with these people and for me, my argument, it's not only for the tourists, it's also for us. Do we want as Maltese, you know, we work hard, we work the full week, and then go and sit down at some bar smelling diesels and cars, and we have to be afraid that your child doesn't go down the pavement because a car will run him over. We need to find a compromise between respecting the law and we need to find a compromise to see how to fit in these places. At the end of the day, it's for us. Uh, these places are made for us. So we need to think about it. Thank you. With compliments, Victor Shikluna. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.